starts for another edition of NBA Basketball. And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Ali LaForce, our reporter. Midway through the year, we've got a moment to check out the Eastern Conference standings. You look at the Heat, they've been outstanding thus far, claiming the top spot in their conference. Well, I think for Miami, I recall them having a lot of naysayers at the start of the season, but now they may not have any. This team is ready for a deep playoff run. Well, this is their goal. There's no doubt about that. For what many expected of them so far, they have not disappointed. Before we get started, we've got just enough time to head over to the sideline. Allie? Well, Bam Adebayo grew up with his mom in a single wide trailer. He said, quote, I watched her struggle. And as I got older, I started thinking she doesn't deserve this. My whole devotion became getting her out of that trailer. And Brian, with this max extension in 2020, he said, quote, knowing that she's set for life is such a stress reliever. Great story, Allie. Thanks. The middle part of the season can present some unique challenges. Grant, how do you maintain your focus as a player? Well, it can be tough. It can be really challenging because it is such a long season. You ultimately have to keep your eyes on the prize. And of course, veterans know hard work now pays off later. You want to protect your record and start building late season momentum. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. On the wing, it'll be Hero and Butler. Caleb Martin out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Lowry in at the point. And for the Mavericks, they've got Reggie Bullock. JaVale McGee out there with Christian Wood. Then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Doncic in at the one. Four on the clock. Irving for three. Adebayo grabs the board. Martin finds Butler. Gets the three ball to go. Well, a big part of the offense built around the skills of Jimmy Butler. Off the bounce, catch and shoot, you name it, he's got it. Doncic passes to McGee. Back to Doncic. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Hero, no good. We played just over a minute here in the first. And it's Irving missing. Miami has gone one or two from three-point land so far. To the middle. Hero with the bucket. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Well, the tight handle allows Luka Doncic to make the pretty move off the bounce. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Here's Butler, and so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. Yeah, so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. To me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Now here's Irving. Averaging almost 23 points a contest. A fantastic offensive player. Here's Doncic. The rebound by Lowry. The Heat with the lead. Kicks it to Hero. Over Irving. Ooh, rejected by Doncic. Uh, Luka Doncic more than capable on the defensive end because he has size and smarts, and he sends that one back. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Now here's Irving. Last game, he had 34 points. Goes. Count it. What I love about Kyrie Irving 
is there's no fear on the interior. This guy is looking for ways to score. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. The first one falls. The Mavericks making a switch here. Hardaway's checked in. Butler hits them both. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Here's Doncic. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. Doncic has got six. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Butler up top. Martin against Hardaway. And it's in there. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Now Irving. Doncic's left side. Up and over Lowry. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Give him eight. If you give Luka Doncic the mid-range jumper, he'll keep things simple and take it. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Hero against Irving. Puts up a three. Hardaway on the wing. Sinks it from distance. Well, we know that Tim Hardaway Jr. can space the floor. You don't want to allow him to start cooking. And the Mavericks with some changes. Now comes in for McGee. And Green is subbed in for Kyrie Irving. A big group substitution here for Miami. Geert Sevens checked in for Bam Adebayo. Oladipo comes in for Martin. Struess, he's checked in for Hero. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. Here's Doncic following the bucket by the Heat. Wood and the Mavericks another three and Christian Wood moving here to the Mavs over the summer now the Mavs knew they wanted more size so they sent a number of players in exchange but they got a deadly weapon to help them this season now here's Doncic oh that doesn't go on the chance to tie Butler finds Struess and a miss there on the triple yeah you know he usually makes you pay from that range Hardaway on the wing. Down low. And good with the stuff. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. And he's won for the lob. And Powell with the stuff. How about the ups of Dwight Powell? He's making these lobs look easy. Butler with the ball. Guarded now by Wood. Outside for Butler. Will it go? And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Christian Wood picks one up. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that fact. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Dallas. They've done a great job establishing an inside presence. Now that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game. We've also seen them show a willingness to take advantage of the mid-range opportunities. The defense conceding these looks, and they're cashing in. Now here's Kleba. Powell, a screen on Butler. Here's Kleba. Count it. And the Mavericks lead by three. Both teams are hot. Woo! This is a fun one to watch. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. For three, Hardaway. Another three for Dallas. Well, you want to be able, as a scorer, to put it on the deck to create your shot. Go ahead, Mr. Hardaway. We see you getting off the bounce. Here's Butler, two points. That one goes. Butler's got 12 points. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Misses from close range. Dallas has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Here's Green. Kleba outside. 
Pass to Hardaway. Back to Kleba. Three-pointer. Buries it from three. He's got five. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Oladipo, the pass to Struess. Here's Vincent, outside Butler. Now here's Struess, defended by Hardaway. To the left side wing, Oladipo, outside. Here's Vincent, guarded by Doncic. Here's seven. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Doncic outside. Off target with the three. Oladipo, the pass to Butler. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Well, that's the level of tenacity that Jimmy Butler brings to the game. Finishes through contact as well as anyone, maybe short of LeBron James. Jimmy Butler getting it done for Miami. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Heat. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. Kyrie Irving out there with Josh Green. Then it's Reggie Bullock. Then there's Christian Wood. And it's Kleba in at the five. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, Luka Doncic, an all-star from his second season, and every year he's one of the favorites for MVP. But Luka says, quote, I still haven't won anything, so I've got a long way to go. Brian, if you didn't catch it, team success is the metric. He says the key is to win a championship. Well, it certainly gives him a chance to do just that, Allie. Thank you. Irving, that's good. That's been the story of their offense so far getting a number of looks from point-blank range. And there's the call on Christian Wood. That's foul number two for him. That's a foul he wanted to avoid, and he definitely doesn't want to pick up his third before the half. Great energy and activity on defense. Outside, Green. Outside, Irving. Back to Green. The teardrop. The three from Wood. That one's off. He's two for three in the game. Miami's gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. And it's Adebayo off the drive. Yep, that one's good. Adebayo's got his first two points of the night. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Pass to Green. Now Wood. And the layup is good off the glass. Wood's got his third basket of the night. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already, and we still haven't gotten out of the first half. Kyle Lowry, Lowry, good. When Kyle Lowry touches that painted area, he is aggressive to score it, and he is so able to finish on the interior. Outside, Green. The three-pointer off the mark. For Miami, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Hero for three. Can't hit that one. And it's Dallas the other way. Here's Bullock. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Green for three. Can't get it to fall. 0 for 2 now. Let's it go from deep. And there's Hero on the assist from Adebayo. And now a four-point Miami lead. Irving against Lowry. Pass to Bullock. Here's Kleba. Back to Bullock. Green in the post. He's guarded by Hero. Second chance effort. And that's two points on the layup. Well, we see a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays, but you'll take that look right there any night of the week. Oladipo shots good. You get the sense Oladipo likes to take it right at the defense on the inside. He says, yeah, I can score against you, big fella. Green, a screen. 
Here's Wood. He's got seven. Out left to the wing. Pass to Bullock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Irving for three. Oladipo with the rebound. The Heat have gone four for seven in the second quarter. What fascinates me about Kyrie Irving, clearly he is one of the most skilled guards to ever play. Ask his counterparts, other NBA players, who their favorite basketball player is, who the most complete player is. The answer will be Kyrie Irving. To the inside. Oh, it's stolen by Oladipo. Here's Hero. Mavericks with the rebound. Green finds Irving. Green with a screen on Lowry. Back to Green. From outside the arc. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got four rebounds now. And again, about Kyrie Irving. We really are witnessing one of the best point guards to play the game to us. VA, one of the best scoring guards we have ever seen. His handle is elite. It gives you some sense of how much the position has evolved. Point guards almost must score as much as they facilitate. First free throw is good. You have to love the style Bam brings with him to the floor. He's such a spirited player, and you can see his teammates enjoy it as well. The shake. Hardaway with it. Struce covering. Hardaway, no good. Miami has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Here's Adebayo. Tries yet again. No good there. Great D that time from McGee. Irving, the pass to McGee. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Count it. Good. And once Bam gets the ball inside, the bucket is almost guaranteed. He's a serious producer in the paint. with it. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Left side, Hardaway. And the three-pointer goes. Hardaway's got nine. That's his first triple of the second period. Third of the game. Here's seven with the ball. Irving picks him up. Oh, McGee with the block. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot, <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Outside Irving. There's the three. It's rebounded by your seven. Your seven's got four rebounds in the game. This guy just can't find his rhythm, and you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through, see if you can get an easy opportunity. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after him. Nails it from three. And it's a seven-point heat lead. That's the second bucket from range this quarter after hitting none in the first. And Dallas calls time here. And the Heat making a change here. Butler's checked in. Once again, your detail crew. Give him a hand, man. A minute 58 left in the second quarter. Powell finds Irving. Doncic up top. Outside Hardaway for three. And it's Miami with a rebound. They're fresh off the win against the Pelicans. Yeah, they connected from outside all game. And the defense had absolutely no answer for it. It's always a good thing when the defense is scrambling. Whenever there was open space on the perimeter, their shooters were able to locate it. To the paint. Here's Doncic. He drains it. Made half his shots. He's 5 for 10 now. A 6'7", 230 pounds. Luka Doncic is a load in the painted area. Butler passes to Adebayo. McGee with a steal. Hardaway against Butler. Hardaway, no good. Miami has gone 5 of 8 from outside the three-point line on this one. Struess. Pass to Vincent. Now here's Adebayo. They get it back. Here at 7. Passes to Adebayo. 
Here's Vincent. Now covers. Just five on the clock. And here's Butler outside. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. The Mavericks trailing. Now here's McGee. He's covered by your seven. And a bio with a steal. McGee against Struess. To the wing on the left. Here's Adebayo. On the money with a shot from the left bar. Adebayo's got seven points here in the quarter. And what I love about Adebayo is he picks smart shots to take. Just an efficient offensive player. And so it's Miami. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And they push the tempo in this one. Getting out in transition and making the defense pay. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Glad you're joining us for halftime. And fellas, how about Bam Adebayo getting it done to start the game? He is out hustling everyone on the glass. Even his own guys in some cases. Controlling the flow of second half chances on both ends. That can often decide games. He's putting in work. Now let's change gears and talk a little bit about all-star voting. Well, it's definitely early in the voting process. Some names already come to mind. I'll always look forward to seeing who's in the mix. And not only do we love watching the All-Star game, the fans do as well. So this is message just to all the fellas. Make sure you put on a good show. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. We've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. It has been one outstanding game from Jimmy Butler. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. Setting the floor for the Heat. Lowry and Hero are the backcourt. Caleb Martin out there with Jimmy Butler. And it's Adebayo in at the five, roaming the paint. Here's Irving, and it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do, finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. Here's Martin. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Three. Martin's got five. But Kyle Lowry has spent his entire career finding open teammates. Pass to Bullock. Wood, a screen on Butler. And it's Jimmy Butler with the foul. Jimmy Butler. That's foul number two for him. Second team foul. So it's the Mavericks now. Down by 12. Wood, a screen on Hero. The 11-footer is good. Irving's got four points this quarter. Well, three level scorers will use the mid-range when it's given. Kyrie Irving did exactly that. Hero, the pass to Butler. Butler, double team. They swipe it. Here's Bullock. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. And it's Irving missing. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Pass to McGee. Doncic against Lowry. They double him with Butler. Shot clock at five. From deep, here's Doncic. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Miami has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Now here's Doncic. He's got 10. Yep, count it. Consistent, lightly scoring in the league is hard, but Luka Doncic showing he has the frame, the game, and the stamina to do just that. A different look for Dallas. Kleba, he's checked in for McGee. And Green is subbed in for Irving. And Miami with a change here, too. Oladipo's checked in for Butler. 
Here's Adebayo. And he banks in the layup. Adebayo's got 11. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Wood, right side. Let's it go from 11. And it's Martin with the rebound. Miami has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Lowry, the pass to Hero. No good with the triple. For Dallas, they've got three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Bullock, outside for Green. Sinks the trade. He's got five. His three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. And there's the basket, and the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. And Doris last season, only five NBA players participated in all 82 games. That's a record low in the league's history. Well, in addition to that, Brian, consider the previous low was 17. So that's not even close. Now, we know the health and safety protocols contributed to that number, but it is pretty clear we're in the age of load management. What impact is that having on the league in terms of fan base? Inside, Bam really doesn't hold back. He takes his shot right through the foul. And he's good on the second. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Pass to Doncic. 4-3. And that comes off the assist by Green. Doncic has got seven now in this quarter. Puts one in the eye of the defense. First triple of the evening. Hero, no good. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And the Mavericks, another three. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. For Miami, they've got four of seven shots to drop in the third. Oladipo, the pass to Adebayo. That's basket number six in eight tries. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. Pass to Doncic. Up and over Lowry. No good on the shot. And Miami will go the other way with it. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. And that kicks off a string of three home games for them. Adebayo, no good. Dallas has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Green finds Kleba. Here's Doncic. Out to Wood. Plenty of space. Another one falls for Dallas. Luka Doncic made it known early in his career. He is one of the best passers in the NBA. Miami calls timeout. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Powell, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Hardaway comes in for Bullock. The Mavericks have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league. And that shows up most with his passing and body control. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Brad. No question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. Ooh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. Martin, the pass to your seven. Here's Oladipo. And it's Oladipo finishing it off. Wow, the handle of Victor Oladipo is fantastic. Uses that to get right through the defense. Hardaway against Struess. Pass to Doncic. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, the Mavericks this season trying to build a title contender around Luka Doncic, but not a lot of luxury tax wiggle room. Luca said, quote, I trust them. Whatever move they make, I have great teammates and we're playing great basketball. Brian? Well, no one wants to see Luca in the playoffs, Allie. Thanks for that. Well, the rise and fire from Victor Oladipo. The team is feeding off him right now. Pass to Hardaway. Let's go with a three. Second chance shot. And Doncic with the lay-in. Doncic has got 16 points here in the second half. 
the defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Here's Struess. And it's all from three-point range. The Mavericks trailing. Now Hardaway. Nine points in the game. Doncic outside. Launches it. Knocks it down from distance. Doncic has got 29. He's looked like a totally different player in the second half. That's his third triple. Defensively, you pick your poison. That time, they gambled off the right guy. Here's Irving. And they'll get another chance. They grab their own miss. Powell, a screen on Oladipo. Irving with it. And your seven picks him up defensively. Boy, Dwight Powell is such a hard-playing athletic big man. He could fit himself into any scheme right now. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Miami. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Inside. And Irving, the bucket on the assist from Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth assist in this one. Butler passes to Lowry. And Luka Doncic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. 13 foul. 114 left in the third quarter. Butler passes to Oladipo. Nails it from beyond the arc. Oladipo's got 10 points in the game. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Irving, no good. The Heat with the lead. Here's Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. Well, this guy is elite as a two-way player. Jimmy Butler able to take on the scoring load. He's cooking right now. Bruce against Irving. Outside Hardaway. McGee, a screen on Oladipo. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And Tim Hardaway Jr., a valuable offensive weapon, even if he's a bit of a volume shooter, Chris. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, his efficiency has never been a selling point. But he consistently will fill up the box score and always willing to shoot and can create for himself. I'll tell you, Tim Hardaway Jr. has shown signs of being a lights-out scorer. And he's got the game to do just that. He looks better and better every year, guys. Here's Butler. There's 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Struess finds Lowry. Here's your seven. Oh, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Six points for him. In the NBA, you let anyone shoot inside five feet, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. That's Points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. It's the Heat leading by five. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Doncic and Hardaway Jr. man the backcourt. Reggie Bullock is out there with Christian Wood. And it's Powell in at the five. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. He has proven to be a quality finisher off the pick and roll. Dwight Powell can adjust midair to get his shot. Hero, the pass to Struess. Off the mark there with a three. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Lowry outside. Pass to Butler. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got his fifth assist in this one. Doncic against Lowry from downtown. And it's Miami with a rebound. They held a 12-point lead earlier. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the boards. Always been a fearlessness to Kyle Lowry's game. Gets the defender committed. 
draws the foul. Nicely done. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. So he comes up empty, missing both. Boy, that's not the result I would have predicted. Usually you can take those to the bank when he's at the line. Pass to Bullock. Wood with the screen to the middle. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. Now this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Free throw, no good for Adebayo. The Mavericks have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Here's Doncic. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It goes on Bam Adebayo. We are talking about a clever scorer. Luka Doncic has developed such a knack for getting to the free throw line. Kleba, he's checked in for Powell. Miami shooting 54% from the field so far in this one. Pass to Hardaway. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Back to Bullock. To tie it up! Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Wing shot on the way. And there's Hero on the assist from Adebayo. Adebayo's got his third assist of the night. And here's Hardaway. Doncic outside. Fires the three. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Here's Butler. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. At the line for the Heat. And the free throw, no good. And this half has been a total disaster from the line. Now shooting under 60%. Doncic finds Kleba. And here's Doncic. Count it. Doncic has got 33 points. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. And stolen by Hardaway. And a fast break now. The Mavericks on the run. And finished off by Kleba. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. McGee, he's checked in for Kleba. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Eric Spolster's huddle. He told them, quote, play as if it's 0-0. We want that type of energy and focus. We might be winning, but this game is not over yet. It's a clear message, guys. All right, appreciate it, Ali. Outside Hardaway, over Butler. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And they've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. And he can't hit the second. For Miami, they've got five of six shots to go in the fourth. Deflected! We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Well, let's see the vertical of Mr. Hardaway. Go ahead, sir. So it's Miami now. It's stolen by Doncic. Here's Bullock. Pass to Doncic. To tie it up. And it's Miami with a rebound. Adebayo's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Butler passes to Adebayo. Hero with it. Defended by Hardaway. Lowry with it. Takes the three. Wood grabs the board. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. To the left wing. Back to Bullock. Knocks it loose. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. Martin outside. On the take. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Butler's got his third assist of the night. Well, terrific read from Jimmy Butler. He is unwilling to get sped up. He knows when to place the pass and where. Baseline try. It's hauled in by the Heat. Hero on the wing. Defended by Hardaway. That one falls. And it's a seven-point Miami lead. 
You look at what he's doing here, and it's hard to imagine him playing much better. And Dallas calls time here. Without question, Jimmy Butler displaying his skills today. Boy, he's been relentless, and to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. Kyrie Irving's checked in for the Mavericks. Oladipo's checked in for Miami. Here's Doncic. Pass to Irving. There's the triple. Kept alive. McGee. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. And you can tell by how hard he battled for that putback that he still has a lot of energy left for the end of this game. And doing that kind of dirty work down low makes a huge difference in a game this close. What a play on the offensive glass. Pass to McGee. Now Irving. From behind the arc. Connects from downtown. Since halftime, they've been chucking up more shots from beyond the arc. Trying to score in chunks. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Lowry, the pass to Martin. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Martin's got four points now in the quarter. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Pass to Bullock. Wood outside. Three-pointer. And he can't get that one. And Miami will go the other way with it. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. And trying to put the game away, he's been nailed all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Irving, no good. Simply put, a bad shot, guys. They all know they can get a better look than that. Hero, no good. Dallas now, time running out. Two minutes. Irving finds Doncic. The three is up. An open look for Irving. Oh, he finds himself wide open and drills it. Uh, Kyrie Irving can be the catalyst, or he can be the finisher. Catch and shoot game is on point. Timeout called. The Heat. They're in front by six. A minute 15 left in the fourth. Irving against Hero. Here's Adebayo. Hero outside. Lowry outside. Pass to Hero. It's rebounded by Dallas. Doncic has got rebound number eight here already in the game. And he lobs it up. Listen, we all know Luka Doncic can score, but equally impressive to me is his playmaking ability. Here's Hero, and that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got eight assists in the game. When the defense gives you room, take it. Don't pass up the shot. Doncic against Lowry. Doncic's shot is good. Doncic has got six here in the quarter. Doncic has been in this position many times. He makes it look easy. Out of bio. And that one goes. Now 10 for 13 on the night. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. And Dallas calls time here. They're behind by six. 52 seconds left in the final quarter. 52 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Doncic outside. McGee, a screen on Lowry. From deep, here's Doncic. That one no good. And the Heat going the other way now. And an intentional foul right there. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Tyler Hero. And the second free throw, no good. Tough break there. Just not enough time for them to get back in this game. I'll tell you, it's never an easy point in the game. Knowing whatever you do, you're still coming away with the L. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Count it! And now they trail by just four! Here in the
the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. So he gets them both. And it's a six-point ball game. Well, this trip to the line should seal the deal. Amazing job. Dallas calls timeout. They're losing by six. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Doncic outside. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. And he'll head to the line. It goes on Bam out of bio. What you love about Luka Doncic is he's this unique combination of size and skill. He can really play cross-positionally. He makes shots at all three levels so dangerous. And he nails the third. Just a tough miss at the line. They're down two baskets now. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Shooting for Miami. So the first one drops, and that puts him up five. And so both free throws good, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, you want to continue to build the lead, so a very productive trip to the line right there. On the wing, Irving. From deep. And nails the trade! Man, that is a good one. Kyrie really just comes alive when the game gets tight. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. He hits the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. At the line for the Heat. Tyler Hero at the line for two. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a five-point game. So the Heat win it. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. All right, Jimmy, as you prepared for this one, what was the focus? Uh, just how hard we had to play, home or away. I think we did that. We stayed together um, through their runs, through our runs, and um, that was quality, and that's getting us done. Four great quarters of work. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA as we present our New Balance player of the game, Bam Adebayo.